Hello and thank you for joining me today. I'm Jan Clothier from Thinking Stamping and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in New Zealand. And today I thought I'd share with you to, um, a card I made using the Sea Turtle set from the new January to April 2023 mini catalogue. And I'm always a sucker for a, a maritime kind of sea inspired set. And so I have made a few things with this. And I'm going to share with you this little card which creates a lovely little underwater scene and then adds in this beautiful sea turtle. So we'll get started and um, I'll show you what you need. And of course if you live in New Zealand and you see things that you like, things that you need to add to your craft stash, then you're more than welcome to shop with me. And there's a link to my online store in the video description below and through my blog the details of which will appear at the end card and I think they're also in the um, video description below. So I'll start off with showing you what we need and I have started with a base of Bermuda Bay because it's such a lovely sort of sea colour. I love this colour. So it is cut to my standard size so in from an A4 piece of paper it's the width of an A4 cut at 14 point that way and scored at 10.5 because of course an A4 piece of paper is 21 centimetres wide. If you're not a metric person then just use whatever your standard card size base is. So there's that. Then I've got a mat in pool party which is half a centimetre or about a quarter of an inch less so it's 14.3 by 10 and that is going to end up there. And then I've got a piece of basic white, which is half a centimetre again, smaller. So it's 13.8 um, by 9.5. And you'll see that I've actually scored this already. Now, the reason I've scored it is twofold. Firstly, because if you look at my sample card, you can see it just gives that nice little edge to the stamped area. But also, it gives you a nice place to line up the post-it notes or the masking paper or whatever you're going to use to mask that off. Now, I've Scored that at two and a half centimetres, which is an inch, and six and a half centimetres there to give me that panel that I'm going to stamp in. I've got a piece of basic white, which is 10 by 14.3 for the inside, so we don't need that now. We'll pop that off to the side. You need a small piece to do the sentiment. Now, I've already done that, and for the sentiment, I used something else from the mini catalogue. I used the Something Fancy set um, because I like the fact that there's a lovely range of sentiments for all sorts of things. Birthday, congratulations, thank you, a wedding, a sympathy, like it covers every event you could possibly want. And it does come, if you choose to have it, as a bundle with all of these different little labels which beautifully match the sentiments and the die that I used there was my favourite die out of this set. It is whoops, this little one here. Okay. So that's the sentiment. And you can, I needed, I used a small piece of pool party and then I stamped the lovely large turtle um, in Bermuda Bay onto that and I fussy cut it out. You could, because these, this is a reversible stamp set, if you preferred, you could have stamped it in white and then reversed it over and stamped the background colour um, with something else, but I, I haven't. I've just put it onto Pool Party uh, with Bermuda Bay. So that's really everything you need. So I'll just pop that sentiment over there to the side. One thing I did do, though, was to give a little bit more dimension to my turtle is I took some Bermuda Bay, and this is one of the new mini blending brushes, and I like it for small things, so I'm just going to um, give it a little bit around the edge, which just helps take that sort of cut edge off. But the other thing it does is it creates a bit of a shadow around the edge of the um, shape, and therefore gives it a little bit more depth. So just a little light shading. I apologise for my wobbly table because ever since I moved house, I've lost my good, my good dining room table is downstairs, which is where I used to do my filming. And I haven't yet replaced um, in my craft room with a good, a good sturdy table. So I'm still using sort of a temporary desk and sometimes it gets the shakes. Okay, so there's my turtle. He's a little bit sponged around the edges. And we'll just leave him off to the side. Okay, so now we can start um, working on our underwater scene. And I'm just going to use post-it notes rather than masking paper. 
just out of personal preference because when like the masking paper is absolutely fantastic for masking stamps but I find when I've used it for a big area like this and it attaches itself to the whole of that and the whole of that sometimes you no matter how carefully you remove it you do sometimes get um, get a little bit of damage to your surface so um, I'm going to use post-it notes in this event if I was going to do some sponging I might be more inclined to use the masking paper but for this I'm just going to use that just use the old post-it notes now because I'm not using my normal table which is lovely and firm I am going to use the stamping pad just because these are photopolymer stamps so we'll start off and I'm going to use this here to create the illusion of some seawater so I'm going to get the stamp, I've got some balmy blue ink, and I'm just going to ink that up and stamp it into my seam. I'm going to press firmly and evenly and I'm going to count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hold my breath, 11, 12. Yes, there we go. And now I'm just going to ink up a little bit more and do the same thing again beautiful okay so that was balmy blue and you can see even though balmy blue is a very light color it's come out nice and dark so now I'm going to do the fish there's a lovely little school of fish there, and I'm going to do them in Calypso Coral. So let's just ink them up. And we'll have them skimming their way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, along the top of the ocean. And maybe we'll have, whoops, I want to make sure I've got enough ink. We'll have some more over here. And perhaps they can just nose their way in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I like to give myself a ten count so that the ink's got lots of time to transfer. So that was Calypso Coral. Now for the seaweed, I'm going to use Pear Pizzazz. And I'm going to use this. Now I'm going to use both sides of it because these are reversible stamps. So I'm going to use that and that so that I've got some variation in my seaweed so we'll start off by inking up here and and just so that I've got some variation again I'm going to turn it up the other way And perhaps we'll turn it up the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll have some down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll turn them up the other way. Now some of this is going to be covered over in the end by my sea turtle. But I'm not exactly sure where my sea turtle is going yet. So I'm going to put some everywhere. Now I'm just going to wipe that side and then I'm going to switch them over. Oops, give it a dry. Okay, switch it over and now I'm going to, oops, stick on there. Okay, and now we'll just ink them up on the other side and what we should find is that we'll get Some more solid seaweeds. Ah, that way. And you'll notice that I'm trying to do them at different heights so that you get a bit of variation. 
You can, if you want, you can stamp off so that you get even more variation in colour. Uh, that's the nice thing about creating a lovely collage scene like this, is you can do whatever you like. Um, the other things that I could have put in, I could have put in a starfish, but I've gone instead for the little kinna, and I'm going to use crumb cake for that. So we'll just cross our fingers and hope we get a good impression there. So I'm going to ink it up, and then I'm going to go... So we have another one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve for luck. Nice. Hmm. Is there anything else we need? Well, I think we're pretty good. Perhaps I'll put one down here as well, because I just don't like the fact there's only two of them. Okay, one, two, three. Now, the moment of truth is when we reveal, take away the masking paper and see what we've been left with. And what we should be left with is exactly what I was hoping for, a pretty little sea scene. Okay, so now we can start assembling and I'm just going to get my glue and I will attach the pool party mat I picked pool party because it was the colour that I used for the base of the um, sea turtle but obviously you could use whichever colour you wanted you could bring out some of the calypso coral you could bring out um, even even crumb cake would work quite nicely okay and now again glue you know I'm a glue girl I like glue because I like the wiggle room just a thin thread so that you don't get um, ooze when you put them together. But if you prefer tape or stamp and seal, then obviously that's what you should use. Okay, so we've mounted that up nicely. Is it straight? Yes, I think it is. Okay, now one thing I didn't do on this one was I, I, I attached the, the sea turtle directly on. But I actually think he'd looked nice, popped up on dimensional. So which way am I going to put him and where am I going to put him? That way. That way. I've kind of left space for him. I could, could put him down that end, but I did leave a bit, bit more gap down this end. And I like that seaweed a bit less. So I'm going to pop him there. And differently from my original, I'm going to give him dimensionals so that he's popped up a little bit. Now if you've watched me regularly you know that I hate things sagging so I do go a bit crazy when it comes to adding dimensionals. So I'm going to put five there and we will have a mini on his head and a mini, a couple of minis on his fin. I once actually saw a sea turtle. We were having a lovely holiday in Fiji and we'd been snorkeling um, out on the reef and that was that was divine. I mean, it looked like that. She was more colourful than that. But we took the kids on a glass bottom boat um, for a trip across the lagoon and uh, we were lucky. A, a giant sea turtle came right un up under the boat. Um, it was spectacular actually. Now, the only trouble about adding lots of dimensionals is getting all the paper off. Can I see that they're all off? Yes, they are. So, we'll pop them on there. <coughs> and where am I going to pop my happy birthday? There, so I just need a dimensional at that end because the rest of it is going to be glued onto the top of my lovely sea turtle. Here he is. Now, some final embellishments. What will we have? Well, I think I'm going to use some of these 2021-23 in colour opal rounds because they are a bit like a bubble and I do like their sort of pearly quality. 
get my tape, my pick tool. And I think I'll go for these soft succulent ones because they kind of blend in the nice, I think they blend in nicely with the Bermuda Bay. Perhaps we'll pop one at the, oh, is there room there? One there. And a third one. Perhaps we'll pop it up there. Oops. <laughs> that one wanted to fall off. Okay, so there we have our lovely sea turtle with an ocean um, scene underneath it. I'll just show you what I did on the inside of this one. I just added in a little bit more of the scene um, while I had the stamps out. I just added in some some water and some fish and a little bit of seaweed. You could add in a turtle. The nice thing about this set is it's got the large turtle, but it's also got a small turtle, which you could have added in. Um, it looks nice. I made another one using different colours um, and... This one's very tropical. Um, I used soft, no, sweet sorbet, polished pink, Tahitian tide, and night of navy. Uh, so very much the same idea. And what did I do? I just gave that one a little, um, a little turtle. This is another card I made using the same set, but uh, quite different techniques. I used the baby wipe technique there to create a multicolored turtle. And I just cut strips of card and stamped them with the uh, hand-drawn dots to, um, background stamp. And then you can see it's on a floating strip. So you get that, that kind of effect. Whoops. And this one here was just a little case from of something that was in the catalogue using different stamps uh, from the set. But anyway, I love this little tropical set. And if you've seen something that you like today and you'd like to buy it, as I've said, my store, there's a link to my online store in the video description below. As always, I'm more than happy to answer questions um, that you might have and I can be contacted via my blog or my Jan Clothier Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator Facebook page. There's a link to those um, in the end card and in the video description below. And of course, if you've seen, uh, if you've enjoyed today's stamping, please subscribe so you don't miss anything else I do. Happy stamping, everyone.